Hey, what's up guys? Coach Shea Pierre here, and let me take you through a full upper body French contrast training session to help take your upper body training session to the absolute next level and separate you from the competition. Now, the concept of French contrast training style is based on a combination of complex and contrast training methods. The idea is to use four exercises in block one within your main set to induce a physiological response to your training along the four speed curve. Now this was originally created by the French track coach Gillis Kemeti and popularized by Cal Dietz. This method takes advantage of PAP, post activation potentiation effect by combining four contrasting loading styles, heavy compound, plyometric, light compound, and assisted plyometrics to increase power production and endurance. Now, once you have completed a full dynamic warm-up, this four-part contrast starts with A1, barbell bench press for three repetitions. Now, I use a controlled lowering tempo, which is followed by an explosive burst from the bottom position, as the goal is to go heavy in this lift, which should be about 80% of your one rep max for one week and increasing this percentage by 2.5% weekly for four weeks. So you can not only get stronger, but take advantage of the post-activation potentiation with the next exercise. As the post-activation potentiation is the enhanced contractile ability of the muscle to generate force with moderate to light loads after performing an exercise consisting of maximal or near maximal loads. Thus why A1 is our heavy load. The heavy load exercise increases the recruitment of a high threshold motor units, improving neuromuscular and intermuscular coordination while decreasing presynaptic inhibition. The combination of these three actions allows for greater force production and power output for the subsequent exercises. So in layman terms, the nervous system goes into overdrive thinking that it's going to lift a heavy load resulting in an explosive lift of the lighter load. So once completed A1, rest for one to two minutes, then complete A2, explosive plyometric pushups for three repetitions with the focus being on quick ground contact and reactivity. This is your chance to have fun and be creative. Now, I love plyometric push-ups, so each round I do different variations to see how truly explosive I am because plyometric push-ups are one of the most explosive upper body movements that you can do. Once finished, rest for one to two minutes and then complete A3, explosive dumbbell bench press for five repetitions. To calculate which dumbbell weights to use, I subtract 60% from the barbell weight from the current set and then divide that number by two and then grab the pair of dumbbells. For example, if I barbell bench press 200 pounds, I'll subtract 60% of that, which equals 80 pounds. And then I divide that number by two, which comes to 40 pounds per hand. This movement should be highly explosive, so don't go super heavy. The goal is to increase explosive power. You want to move the weight with intent, quickly, and powerfully. Once complete, rest for one to two minutes, and then finish with A4, band over speed plyometric push-ups for five repetitions. Set up a band between the rack and make sure it's nice and secure, then forcefully explode as high as you can, and once you touch the ground, quickly explode Again, now band assisted pushups are the best way to work the high velocity and quick production of force needed for explosive power. It allows for fast turnover rate of the muscles. At the same time, it teaches the body to move faster and higher than it normally is capable of doing due to the overspeed band tension, which unloads the body at the bottom of the movement, 
thereby allowing the tendons to complete a powerful concentric action. And lastly, it also increases the explosive capacity of the stretch shortening cycle and beneficial joint stiffness qualities. Once completed three full sets of the first training block, A1, take a full recovery and rest for three minutes and then start training block number two, completing three sets of two movements with 60 seconds rest between the movements. Starting with B1, heavy chin-ups for a rep scheme of six reps on the first set, eight reps on the second set, and 10 reps on the third set, which will allow you to start heavy and either maintain or go a bit lighter per set. Chin-ups are amazing for increasing muscle mass in the upper body, developing strength in the lats, biceps, and core, along with helping increase grip strength and overall upper body control. Chin-ups are also incredibly beneficial for increasing speed and jumping power, due in large to its postural benefits, as the back is heavily recruited, developing the upper foundation for power and explosive arm swing in sprinting and the pull through in jumping for triple extension. Now the goal is to go as heavy as you can while maintaining proper form and technique and full rep range. Once finished, rest for 60 seconds and then start B2. Seated dumbbell lateral raises for 10 to 12 reps. Now if you're looking to build strong athletic shoulders, then this is it, as it helps develop shoulder strength and stabilization, which is needed if you want to increase your compound movements like the bench press and military press. Now to finish the workout, we head into block number three, which will be completed for three sets with two movements with a 30 second rest period in between the movements, starting with C1. Weighted dips for 10 to 12 repetitions. Now weighted dips are a great exercise for training your chest, triceps, shoulders, and core muscles. The benefits include improving your bench press total, developing not only greater strength, but increasing range of motion. Now the goal is to go as heavy as you can while maintaining great form and technique and getting as much range of motion as you can and finishing the full lockout through the bar, which is going to help you with your lockout positioning in the bench press. Once finished, move on to C2. Bent over row to hammer curl to overhead press for 10 to 12 repetitions. This triple threat combination is a game changer and is an absolute burner and will blast your upper body like never before. It's a super deceiving movement. So start off light and then throughout the rounds, work your way just a little bit heavier and make sure you maintain great form and technique and be smooth if you want to increase your overall strength. And in particular in this movement, endurance. All right guys, that was one incredible training session. And I was wearing my brand new Project Rock training gear from Under Armour. So if you guys wanna check that out, check out underarmour.ca or .com or wherever you guys are at and check out all their latest hot fire gear. Also, check out the description below because you guys can get this training program on our incredible training app, our Athletic Dominance Training Program. You can get it for free, 30 days unlimited. This training program is unbelievable because it's fully customized to you. I teach you how to customize it if you're in season or if you're off season or if you're like me, a dad of three and you wanna to continue to increase your athletic performance, separate yourself from the competition, and be the greatest version of yourself day in, day out, every second, every minute, every hour, every waking moment of your life, then check out that program. If you wanna see more videos like this, just comment below. These videos have been going viral because of you guys, and I appreciate you guys. You guys are the 1% that made it to the end of this video. So, let's do it again. I cannot wait to make more videos like this. I'm Coach Shea Pierre. Ha! Let's keep getting it at the highest level.